Hi, this is Rodney Walker, Grand Central USA, Grant Writers Association, and today I'm excited to have a special guest, Denise Sells. She is the president of Golden Touch Grant Services located in Bakersfield, California. Welcome to the show, Denise. Hi, Rodney. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. You know, I'm excited to have you on today's show, Denise, because we've been getting a chance to do quite a bit of work together. I've been getting a chance to see you on your journey. I'm excited about sharing your journey with others. Many have already been following you for a while, but you've done a tremendous job of raising a lot of money. And I want to pull some of that information out so we can share with others what you've done. But how did you, how did you get started in grants? What, what led you to this point of, of being a grant writer that's secured over 43 some odd million dollars so far? Well, actually, I kind of fell into um, the position as a grant writer. Uh, before I was a grant writer, I did a lot of uh, board meeting minutes, agendas. So when the supervisor I have now called me in for an interview, I was like, well, you know, I don't have any experience in grant writing. And he was like, oh, no, you have a lot of experience in writing. If you can do agendas, if you can do board meeting minutes. He said, that is something we're looking for. Somebody that knows how to write. And that's how I kind of got started in doing grant writing. Wow. So he, he saw something that you didn't even saw, see. He saw your talents of being able to do writing in this area and help you to see that you can do it in this other area. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Most grant writers that I talk to actually have fallen into grant writing. I don't think I know too many that started out saying they wanted to be a grant writer when they went to college. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's interesting that your story is the same. So tell me this, Denise. You raised in a relatively short time a lot of money, $43 million. What, what would you say has been some of the reasons for some of your success? Oh, wow. You know, I didn't even think about it until you brought it up. Like, I, won, I had $43 million. I was like, wow, did I really do $43 million in three years? But I think what part of my success is, is just communication. I work well with others. So, you know, and I enjoy writing. So, you know, you have to have a passion for writing and, that, and that's what I have. Well, evidently that passion has been working wonders for you and uh, that's really good. So we got a chance to connect uh, a while back and when we connected, you were looking to you were already doing well with writing grants and have won a substantial amount, but you were wanting to, to get even better and to improve. Tell me, tell me what led you my way. How did we get connected? Oh, well, you know what? I took a, um, actually, I came across you online and I listened to one of your videos and, it, you know, I was impressed. I'm like, okay, this is something I need to, you know, follow up on because even though I know how to write grants, there's always something out there for me to learn. Got it. So you took that position and, and decided to enhance your skills and, and started with our Rise and Star program. Now, let me tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. When Denise first came to me, I didn't realize that she had won as much money as she had won. But she started out with our Rise and Star program. What was that program like for you going through that experience? You know what, that experience was great because I'm used to doing federal grants and state grants and just to learn more about foundation grants and how that is different from our federal and state grants, you know, it helped me a lot to kind of expand into the more of doing uh, foundation grants. Got it. So yeah, because you've been used to raising that big money with those federal dollars that were out there mm -hmm. and, and now decided to learn some on the other side. So now you've got both of them in your arsenal, both federal as well as foundation grants. What, what was the biggest difference that you noticed when you were going through looking at federal grants opportunities versus those of foundation grant opportunities? Did you see any big differences or what were those for you? Um, really with the federal grants, it's kind of, it's not personal. And with foundation grants, you really want to get personal with the executive directors. You want to get to know the people in the foundation and you want them to know who you are. Uh, federal grants is a little bit different. You're, you kind of have a little bit of a distance, but um, you can still implement that with federal grants. But definitely with foundation grants, you really want to get to know the executive directors. Yeah, that's good. And, and doing so, you've taken that, connected with these executive directors, connected with these program officers and all these people and using that skill 
And now you have new things that are in your house. Now you've already been taking a number of other trainings, if I understand correctly. Was that was that the case? That is the case. I've taken numerous of uh, different classes. What was what was it, what was it like taking the training that we offered versus some of the other ones that you had offered that you told me about that you had recently taken? I actually learned a lot more from taking your class. I, you know, and your personality was great. Um, a lot of the classes that I've taken before, it's like soon as the class was over with, I basically forgot what I've learned. Uh, you kept the class interesting. You answered the questions. And a lot of times when you take classes from other um, professionals that do grant writing, they tend to just show you an example or a book and they don't give you a full explanation on you know what you could do to make this this proposal better and with your class you were right there and you were you know a answering questions you were teaching us things that i didn't even know even though i've been doing grant writing for three years yeah wow well i'm glad that was that was helpful for you so you took this information and started using it and we started digging deep and as we continue on Part of the journey led to you deciding to step up to the next level. So Denise went from our VIP program, I mean, went from our Rising Star program mm -hmm. and elevated to our VIP program. Now, tell me, tell me the why, because you, you were doing it at one level here, you learned grant writing, but you wanted to do this as a business and tell me why you decided to do the VIP program. I decided to do a VIP program because I always wanted to go into business for myself and just taking the class from you and then learning a little bit more on how to market myself and, you know, getting um, just more secure on what I do and about myself, you know, you know, I was like, I can do this. I can, you know, I can have my own business and do this instead of working for someone else. So. Yeah. So I remember when we first got started, that was, that was kind of the nervous part. Like, you know, tell, tell me what was it like? Because there's some other people out there right now that are kind of thinking they may want to do this as a business and kind of on the fence. And, and what was it like? Because I think you, I remember we were interviewing and we were, I was asking you about it. We were just behind the scenes things. And, and you were talking about it first, how it was kind of scary. Tell me, take me back to that moment. Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of self-doubt, you know, wondering, oh, can I, can I do this? Can I really make a living on grant writing? And then you start, you know, second-guessing yourself, well, am I really good enough to write grants, you know? And you, you help me, you know, feel the confidence in myself and letting me know that I can really do this. And just by you saying, Denise, you've won over $43 million in grants in three years. That's, that's really something incredible. And I just never looked at it that way. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's interesting how sometimes we're so close inside the picture ourselves, we can't see some of the things that outsiders see. But but when she told me she wanted $43 million, I was like, $43 million, girl, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta bring in some other people to, for you to help because there are a lot of people, a lot of organizations that need your expertise since you've been winning so much money. And uh, and now she's doing it as a business. Now, now let's go down this journey. So confidence is being built and removal of self-doubt what else happened along the journey that that maybe surprised you or that, that you were not expecting um learning how to market myself wow you know i never even really just thought about that i thought i can just put up a website and you know people come to me but um you really got to get out there and you got to really pe show people that you can do this you know you gotta, they gotta feel confident that you can sit up there and successfully win them grants uh, for their nonprofits. Got it, so, so marketing was a big thing. And prior to this time, you had, done, had you done any writing for any other clients prior, or were there any people coming your way prior to, to us getting a chance to connect? And if so, what was that like? Um, I had a couple of nonprofit organizations come my way, but it was more of, them being a startup and um it was difficult to kind of show them this is this is what you need to have before you can even think about applying for grants so it, it, it's come a long way from the nonprofits that used to come to me until the organizations that come to me now so it's, it's night and day <laughs> night and day okay so so it sounds like you had a couple of people coming your way uh over the course of some time 
but then you started learning what you needed to do to market. What was that like putting that new marketing hat on for you? What was it, what was that experience like having to learn this new skill? It was scary, but also that's something I needed to do. Um, being a grant writer, I'm so used to being behind the scenes, writing grants, not really dealing with um, people up front unless I'm asking them for budgets or you know, some information. So it was a different task for me to do to be able to get out there and just market myself, you know. So that was a big challenge for me in the beginning. Got it. So you so you so you met evidently you met the challenge head on mm -hmm. and you started marketing yourself. And what started happening as a result of making some of those shifts? Did anything happen? Anything different or were things pretty much the same? Or tell us the story. Wow. Um, after I started marketing myself, I ended up getting so many people emailing me, um, you know, about having an appointment with them to talk to them about their organization. So I was really surprised, like the first week that I started doing marketing on different sites, I had so many people reach out to me. Wow, that must have been, that must have been quite exciting and probably nerve-wracking as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really didn't expect it that quick. I'm thinking, oh, you know, maybe in a couple of months, I'll, I'll get a couple of people contact me. But within a week, I've, I had about six or seven people contact me. Wow. And I noticed on some of your connections, you've been, you've been all over the place. Every time I, I turn around, I'm seeing you pop up here and I'm seeing you pop up there. And you really have been, uh, been going at it. So, so bravo and congratulations on that. And, and we've been, been kind of tracking your journey because I want people to see someone start out from, from, from zero. And that's exactly what you've done. So what else about the journey, Denise, would you say has been eye-opening because you told us one that you gained greater confidence you learned how to market what other things what other things happened that 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 you think people would be interested in here well it's just i learned that i'm just not a, just a grant writer there's so many more things to be in just doing grants i mean working with foundations doing intent letters um, there's so much more, and I think people don't understand that grant writing, they think we just write a grant and that's it. There's so much more to that, you know, getting involved with the foundations, letting them know who you are, keeping that constant contact. So a lot of people don't realize what goes into to actually starting the grant to what happens after you get the grant. You're still getting in contact with foundations and organizations to let them know that you're out there. So it never ends. Got it. So, so it sounds like what you're doing is much more than just simply doing the work of writing grant proposals. It sounds like you have a, a comprehensive system that you are using to help your clients to, to start getting funded, which is, which is great. Mm -hmm. What would you say in terms of some of the things? And I understand you have a, an event that's going to be taking place that's going to be a summit. And uh, I, that's, that must be pretty exciting, getting ready, getting ready to do something as big as a summit. What's that like for you? Oh, yes. I'm excited about it. This will be my first summit. Um, it's going to be sometime in next year, but we haven't set the date right now. But it's going to be the Mental Health Executive Director Summit. So I'm excited about it. I did my first little, um, I don't know if you got the chance to see it, my Monday memo about health and um, it's actually about African American health and uh, mental disorders in African -Amer American men. Wow, that's exciting! I saw that, and it's exciting to see. Again, you have just become like a marketing machine. Every time I turn around, I'm seeing some type of piece. But, but I think it's important for those who are thinking about doing this as a business to see that a part of the task is marketing. And mm -hmm. if you're not marketing, nobody knows about you. But you've been. You've been grabbing that, that bull by the horn and you and you got some new headshots and looking all professional and doing some great <laughs> things. So so that's been cool. What would you say, Denise, you you're working in two a few areas. You're helping nonprofits, but right now, if there are other people that are doing grant writing and and they're thinking about maybe stepping up and becoming either a freelance grant writer or maybe even thinking about doing this as a business where they establish a, a firm. What would you, what would you, what advice would you give them in terms of 
some of the things that were helpful for you? Some of the things helpful for me. Definitely take Rodney's course. That's one thing. Um, never stop, <laughs> never stop learning. I mean, I'm always, even though I've been doing grants for a while and I've been able to succeed in getting a lot of grants. I'm always out there um, reading. I'm always taking on uh, webinars. I'm always trying to get more information about grant writing. So just to get started, I would say just do it. I mean, you know, you're not going to know unless you get out there and just try. Wow. That's, that's good. And that's one of the things I loved about working with you. You grabbed the bull by the horns. I mean, like you say, hey, hey, Denise, do this. Man, she knocked it out. And I can, I can see why you've been able to secure as much funding as you've been able to secure because, you know, like you, you, put, you put legs to the stuff that needs to be done. And that's the only way people succeed. I love the fact that, that you are, are doing what you're doing. Now, tell me more about this. The name of your company is Golden Touch Grant Service. What, is that, what does that mean to you? I have the golden touch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, to you're get in there, organization funding. So yes, I have listen, the golden I, touch. Evidently, evidently you do have the golden <laughs> touch and have forty-three million dollars in Kane County. And evidently you do. That's good. So so we so we should be keeping our eye out for that mental health summit that's going to be taking place. And they can, if like someone wants to reach you, Denise, can they reach you on like LinkedIn or can they reach you? What, how would they find you on LinkedIn, by the way? I'm on LinkedIn. I'm the Golden Touch Grant Services. I'm on Instagram. I am on Facebook. And I also have my website, uh, Golden Touch Grant Services. Wow. So there are so many different places for them to be able to reach you. And do you have any... Just in case there may be somebody out there that's in need of a grant writer and they're looking for the type of services that you offer, who do you, who in particular are you working with these days? Right now, I'm actually working with um, a nonprofit that is helping the homeless. So. Yeah, and, and, and they're, and they're and like in terms of different, um, are, you, are you niched out in particular areas that you service? Um, is that, I mean, like, are, there, are you pretty open to, to working with different clients from different sectors? Or what would be the ideal ones that you would like to work with? Well, my main focus right now is clients that deal with uh, mental health and wellness. Mental health and wellness. Okay, got it. So they can, they can come to you. So if you are an organization looking for a grant writer that has a track record, man, three years, this lady has won a lot of money. And uh, she knows her stuff and will take great care of you. Denise, is there anything else that you want to share with our listeners today that, that may be helpful for them or anything else you'd like to share today? Um, just go out there. And if you want to be a grant writer, like I said, just go do it. Um, don't be scared. You know, everybody's scared, but, you know, you got to try it. So. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Uh, Denise, Golden Touch Grant Service, she says, hey, just go do it. Just go do it. Denise, it's been great uh, following you, getting a chance to hear some of your story. You know that I'm planning on tracking you. I wanna, I'm, I'm going to keep in touch because I want to see I want to see where this goes. We've been some of those videos that we did a while back when you were practicing and getting stuff set. So we're going to be following you, and I'm looking forward to having you back to tell us more of your continued success, and we're wishing you the very best in all that you do. Thank you for being with us on today. Thank you, Rodney. <laughs> all right. Wishing you the best. Take care. Thank you. You too.